Like many kids my age with an overactive imagination, class would always be a drag, and everyday life always seems to be moving too slow. Because of that, I'd get lost, and I'd try to quell these cravings with the extraordinary. And like many other kids who are just as lucky as me, I was able to stumble upon the fantastic, vivid world of anime. But as I would soon find out through adults and society and authorities, that real life is not a cartoon and that you can't expect things to be so colorful at times. And I used to think that was true, until I found Breaking. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Kai, and the reason I'm making this video today is because I wanted to introduce two new worlds to one another. I have been a huge fan of Breaking and anime for the last few years, and as I continue to look at both of them, I've realized just how many similarities both of them have with each other. If you're a b-boy and you don't know anything about anime, or you're an anime lover and you know next to nothing about breaking, I wanted to introduce you guys to each other and maybe you'll gain a new perspective today. The first similarity I think that is the most obvious to see are the battles. So in anime, especially shonen anime, the highlights of the show are often the times when two anticipated rivals come together and clash in ideals, in practice and movement, and it just becomes such a spectacle that everyone enjoys. In Breaking, we have something very similar where we have jams, and in jams, we get together and we get put in a tournament style Budokai Tenkaichi type of thing, and we go at it with each other until there's one decided victor. Each battle is a conversation, a budding of heads, ideologies, and movements, and there's development, there's lessons to be learned, and it's just such a great time and a great vibe to be around. Anime is awesome because you get to relate to these characters and their ideals and feel like you're right behind them when they're fighting and throwing those punches. But when you're in it, when you're breaking and you, it is you on that floor and you have to hold your own with your own ideals and your own training against someone else who's across from you, it just feels like you're living in anime. The second thing I believe that anime and breaking both promote is perseverance. And before I even started breaking, I always would watch Naruto and Yu-Gi-Oh! My Hero! And all of these anime often start with a main character who is not very strong, in fact pretty weak. And I think that's something we can all relate to, because when we start something, we all start from zero. And being able to watch the progression of someone that we can relate to, and have them become extremely powerful through hard work, determination, and training, it's super inspiring, and when I finally learned what breaking was, and just how high of a skill gap and a skill curve there was in order to start doing these moves, having that background and that knowledge that working hard can get you somewhere was extremely empowering and extremely helpful in starting down that path. And I can say the same for both ways, just because if you're watching anime and you start breaking, you know that you're going to get somewhere. And if you're breaking and you start watching anime, I think that's only going to help your training. In any good anime, you have a cast of highly curated, well-developed characters. These characters have their own needs, their own wants, and flaws that they continue to develop and that shapes and molds them as we get to watch them on their journeys. In our Breaking community, we've got this cast of characters that I feel is almost like the cast of an anime. You know, we've got the junior, we've got the sensei, we've got the one that's OP but has low self-confidence, we have the loose cannon, and we have the mysterious Alatowner that nobody knows about. Just like when you're watching anime, in Breaking, you are not staring blankly at two people who are just wailing on each other. You are watching two people with two different ideals, two different movements and styles going at it. And that's what makes it interesting. You are observing the actions, failures, and development of two characters who are trying to be better. And by observing them, you too are learning to be better. Through all of these years watching anime and Breaking, and trying and failing and getting back up over and over and over again, I've learned so much about my own character. We continue exploring, working to project our purest selves into the external world. And in the process, we find out so many things about ourselves and people and life that we never would have. I hope from this video, you guys gain a little bit more perspective on something that you may not have seen before. And if you're a fan of anime, I'd highly recommend you to check out the world of dance. And if you're a dancer or b-boy or b-girl, I'd highly implore you to check out the world of anime. 
like I said, there is so much that we have to learn from each other and to draw from each other. Um, it's been beautiful being in both because I think they just amplify one another. If you want to see more stuff like this, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified for the next video. Uh, let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. My name is Kai from Vertigo Vision and I wish you guys the best on your journeys. Till next time, take care.